you want to get a 520 on the MCAT but don't know what resources you want to get there, when we were studying for the MCAT, trust me, we were equally as clueless, which is why I'm making this video today. All the resources are mentioned in the description below, so make sure you go by through those links and watch until the end for a bonus resource. Let's get started with resource number one, Kaplan MCAT books. These are the gold standard and I would recommend them over everything else. There are other books like the Princeton Review books or the Exam Crackers books, but I feel like sometimes they go into too much detail that's not really needed. While the Kaplan books give you exactly what's needed, but also keep it optimized so you're not wasting your time. I've also seen many people with non-science backgrounds that have used these books and been able to succeed on the MCAT because of how good the books were. Resource number two. Now you might be wondering, What about practice problems? Do I really need to practice? Well guys, it turns out you actually do need to practice for a 7 hour exam. And I wouldn't recommend anything else other than UWorld. UWorld has over 2,000 questions to choose from, making it one of the most expansive resources out there. What's more is that you can create custom tests using UWorld. For each question, regardless of whether you answer it right or wrong, you'll get detailed feedback. And that's what makes UWorld so good in comparison to other practice problems. I remember first starting out, I was pulling, pulling practice problems from a bunch of different places but I couldn't quite understand why I was getting certain questions wrong. But then I switched to UWorld. I began to read more of their detailed explanations. And I think just from using UWorld alone, that's what helped my score jump by over seven points. Of those inside low kicks. Resource number three. This one is really important for cars. <laughs> I can already hear my fellow Canadians turning up their volume after hearing the word cars. The Exam Crackers Cars book, which you can find in the description below, is an excellent resource for you to practice cars. I would honestly say that the cars passages in the Exam Crackers book are a lot harder than the actual exam. But to be honest, that's the kind of prep that you need to do well in this exam. There's over a hundred passages, so you can practice one every single day until your exam. Resource number four, Anki. This resource has been brought up so many times on this channel, kind of like spaced repetition. Get it? Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of Using Anki on the MCAT completely changed my studying style. I still use it to this day for my exams in medical school. If you don't know what Anki is, it's like using flashcards, but on steroids. Using Anki, you can remember all the amino acids and all the pathways that you really need to know, and especially the psych terms, because those are very hard to remember. The best part is, all of these decks are already made, so you don't have to do any work, you can just go and practice right away. How? Hold on, bro. How? Resource number five, Khan Academy. I mean, do I really need to say anything else about this? Khan Academy is one of the best resources out there, especially if you're a visual learner. And if you struggle with any type of content in school, you know how useful it is. I used Khan Academy whenever I struggled with a concept from the Kaplan books, and also when I was having issues with any practice problem that I had. The best part about Khan Academy is actually that the videos were made in collaboration with the AAMC. These are the people that make the actual MCAT exams meaning that the content from Khan Academy is very relevant. Resource number six. This would be a dry erase book. Now this resource isn't required for MCAT prep, but it's very important for practicing. Let me explain. When you sit down for the actual exam, you're handed a dry erase book as well as the computer itself. So you can do all your calculations or take notes on that dry erase book. It's very different from a piece of paper and pencil. So it's very important that you get used to that feeling of that marker and that dry erase book way before the actual exam. When I was practicing, I bought the dry erase book and when I took my first practice test with it, I kept getting distracted by the marker and the marker smell. So if you don't want to use it for your practice problems, at least use it for your practice tests because it would reduce a lot of stress for testing. Resource number seven. Okay, so this is probably the most important resource you can use and what I'm talking about is the AAMC bundle. In this bundle, you'll get practice questions, practice exams, and you'll also have some flashcards if you really want to use them. 
This is the best thing you can use because AMC is making this. AMC is the same company that makes the MCAT, so their questions are obviously going to be the most representative. When I was doing UWorld earlier in my prep, I felt as if I was getting too many questions wrong and they were really hard. But then when I started doing AMC prep, I started getting many of the questions right. This is because they were so much more representative for the exam and doing UWorld prepared me to do these harder questions, but it's always best to use these questions closer to your test so you know exactly what they'll be asking. Resource number eight, Jack Weston. Jack Weston is one of the best resources for cars and here's why. They provide one passage a day for absolutely free. There's no money involved whatsoever. And the best part about Jack Weston is that their passages are very similar to what you'd see on the real MCAT in the real car section. So what I'd recommend is doing two to three passages from Jack Weston every single day. Shout out to Jack Weston for making all of this free. He's a good man. Resource number nine, prep courses. Now you might have heard. Oh, I don't know if I should take a prep course. I probably should though. I don't know if I can study for a seven hour long exam by myself. And you also might have heard. Oh, don't take a prep course. You're going to waste a lot of money. You're going to waste all of your time. To be honest with you, this is a decision that you would have to make yourself by assessing your own study strategies. But if you think that you don't have as good of a science background or are not able to schedule your studying well, then you should definitely take a prep course. One of the best prep courses out there has to be Prep 101. And here's why. Among a bunch of other features, they have 138 hours of live instruction alongside recordings, 32 in-class exams, 20 full-length practice tests, your own MCAT coach, a flexible schedule, a peer study group, and finally, a set of notes created specifically by the instructors themselves for you to use. Check out this beast of a course in the description below. I have a lot of friends that took prep courses and got a good score, and I also have a lot of friends that didn't take the prep courses and got the same score. So it all comes down to what you believe will work for you. Resource number 10, MCAT Podcasts. There are many podcasts out there that talk about different topics about the MCAT and you can listen to these when you're multitasking. For example, I used to research at a lab in downtown Toronto during my time when I was running my MCAT. I had about an hour long commute and what I would do is download these podcasts so I could listen to them on the way there and not waste any of this time. And then when I get back from the lab, I'd review these concepts and make sure I know them in depth. This way, I wasn't wasting any time and optimizing my learning. We have a podcast of our own that gives you information about the medical school process, experiences from experts in the field, and so much more. So make sure you check that out on our channel. All right, guys, that brings us to the... And watch until the end for a bonus resource. Oh, right. I almost forgot the most important resource and the bonus one we've offered for this video. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. You guys might have seen that 300 page psychology and sociology document floating around on some reddits, but we've actually made a 55 page version of that document so that you don't have to waste your time reading through all of those 300 pages. You can find it in the description below. All right, guys, I understand this is a lot of information to take in, but trust me, having these resources in a compiled list will help you so much when you're preparing for this MCAT, and I'm sure all of you will get over a 520. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and all of the links to the products we mentioned are in the description below. Use those links and buy it as soon as possible so you're ahead of the curve, and we'll see you next Monday. Oh, 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 oh,